In the next major release of DXperience 2011 Volume 2, we are introducing our most powerful filtering capability for the ASP.NET MVC grid view. Now it's called a filter control. And what it does, it allows your end users to build powerful filter criteria for the grid view using common English terms they're familiar with. So for example, once you enable the filter control and the end user clicks on this link that has a pre-built filter criteria on it, what it brings up is this filter builder. Now it's a pop-up modal control that has criteria that we've already added in here. So what the end user can now do is go on and click this little plus sign and that introduces yet another criteria that they can edit. Now instead of product name, which is the default, what I'll do is I'll choose, let's say, order date. And then I can also choose the type of condition that will be applied there. And as you can see, it's these common terms like equals, does not equal, greater than, and less than that the end user is already familiar with using something like Excel. So let's say I choose is between. Now the filter builder is smart enough to know that this is going to require two values. And so it creates two values for us where it says order date is between value one. So let's say I select something like October 1st, 2011. However, I do know that this database doesn't have anything more than 1997. And then the end value for the is between, I'll, I'll choose something like today. And then I'll click OK. And what you'll see is right away, the filter criteria is applied and I only get back those values. So we won't see anything before 1997. So in fact, let me sort by that and you can see the earliest date is 1997. And what's great is you can build multiple items of filter criteria here that the end user can enable and disable. Or they can also click the clear to remove the filter criteria altogether. Now, what's great is it's really easy to enable. Because this is a functionality built right in, it's very easy. So let's take a look at the code behind. Now, let's take a look at the MVC view. So let's scroll down to view and you can see that to build a grid view that has a filter, we simply create a partial page. And in the partial page, we can see that to enable the filter control, it's a simple call to say settings show filter bar is equal to visible. And that's all you have to do. And from there, you can even add a custom pre-built filter as we've done here that says on pre-render, I want to add this filter expression where quantity is greater than 100. And it's that simple.